Have you thought about being a freelancer? Well, today on The Journey, we'll be talking about nine freelance jobs for you aspiring entrepreneurs. So being a freelancer can be really exciting. It can give you a lot more flexibility other than just doing a regular nine to five, possibly working from home, for instance. Now, Emma isn't a freelancer, but you do work from home, right? I do work from home, yeah. So tell us about it. Um, I should probably consider being a freelancer now that I'm thinking about it because there is a lot of flexibility. And I, mm. don't worry, boss, I still get everything <laughs> done. But I think about, you know, during my day, like what I fit in that everyone else has to wait until after their nine Doctor's to five. Doctor's appointment. Yeah. Or even like productive things. Like I cook a lot because mm. I'm at home. And think about it. I could like start a whole vegan cooking thing about tips and tricks in your kitchen just while I'm making my lunch because I'm remote. So our first job on the list, blogging. You can write about things that you're passionate about, things that you can just talk about all the time without even doing a whole lot of prep work, but it does take some time to grow your audience. So before you think about getting your own website, there are some free ones that you know you can just get right on now and start to build your audience. LinkedIn, Medium, mm -hmm. those are some popular sites that don't cost anything. And again, you can just get it rolling and get people interested in what you're talking about. In that same vein, number two, ghostwriting. You can write on behalf of others in many different reasons for say memoirs or writing speeches or even other blogs. This is a great way to just build up your rapport and mm -hmm. allow people to get to know your work so that you can finally get to those bigger jobs. So number three, Photography. I've seen a lot of my friends do this for freelance just because out of their own enjoyment for photography. And all of a sudden I see they're like posting on Facebook, hey, if you want your wedding photos taken, you know, hit me up. Here's my contact <laughs> info. And then before you know it, it's like their whole career because it takes off. There's such a need for it. Yes. And also think about your smartphone. I mean, the camera that we have mm -hmm. now, I just got the new iPhone. Woo! <laughs> Hello, better than those professional cameras out there. And in addition to that, I mean, just think about it. You could go out and maybe I do this a lot when I'm walking around in San Diego where I live. There's just so much beauty around me and I love to take photos. Think about like the stock photos I could get out of that because I live in this really beautiful place and I can go to the beach in a matter of minutes. That might be some great stock photos for someone who can't go to the beach to help them out with their business or whatever they're creating online. So number four, travel consultant. If you are an avid traveler or you just have great researching skills, people will pay you to spend that time. If you think about it, the last time you booked your travel, you think about the flights, you think about the housing, you think about the things that you're gonna do. A travel consultant can take away all of that time so you can do other things and they can do that for you. I don't know about you, Sam, I just like to wing it. Just book the <laughs> flight, maybe just one way. Classic and then Emma. see what happens when you get there. What's the worst that could happen? You over plan and there goes the adventure. But yeah, back to consulting and <laughs> planning out your trip. I'm well, sure you would plan it out in advance. Yes. Speaking <laughs> of, last year for our anniversary, my wife and I, we planned out a four state trip and it was about two weeks long. Why four states? Four states because she did it. I just, I show up. I'm oh. clean and presentable. That's it. So your it. wife is the travel consultant. Got it. Got Pretty it. much. And we went to Arizona. Mm -hmm. We went to Denver, Colorado. And then we also went to San Francisco, California, and then back to Austin. So for both of us, mm -hmm. 10 flights. Guess mm -hmm. how much we spent for those 10 flights? Maybe a couple grand? Nope. Under 1100 I love you, wife. I love you. Oh, my gosh. I I'm impressed because like right? I've spent that much on just a tr one trip one to one trip. place. Yeah. So as you can see, having someone that can do all of that research for you can save you time yep. and money mm -hmm. along with that frustration. Absolutely. Travel consultants are awesome in demand job to yeah. have. So number five, social media marketing. I mean, this is something that affects businesses of all sizes. And what a lot of those businesses of all sizes can relate on is I don't have a lot of extra time. And yes. then social media, as we both know, is that it's so important for your marketing, your spreading word of mouth to attract new customers. Also customer retention, mm -hmm. social media is key. But again, there's that time factor. It takes time. It takes time to be creative and thoughtful mm -hmm. about what photos you're putting up, captions. And so mm -hmm. that is something too that you could do and even start at any level for any business of any size and offer, hey, I'm gonna take this off your plate I'm gonna do it for you. Maybe just start with one platform or do all three, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, a great way to freelance. 
So for the sixth freelance job, photo editing. Ooh, good one. Yes, photo editing can be an awesome career for you if you want to increase your skill level with Photoshop. Because a lot of people, whether it be businesses or even people that have online businesses, mm -hmm. they're looking for some high quality graphics, visuals. And also, as you can increase your Photoshop skills, that can lead into another opportunity with graphic design. So it can be like a feeder yeah. type skill to earn. Also, I know my, my good friend Sam, who lives in Chicago, I and mean, she went to- I thought she was talking about me. She, <laughs> <laughs> different Sam. But you're my friend too. Thanks. Um, but my friend Sam, she lives in Chicago. She actually like went to photography school in California, and you know she makes money off photography. But she can also make money just editing photos. Mm -hmm. So she does that, and then sometimes she gets so busy taking photos and editing her own that she doesn't have time to edit. So mm -hmm. she even like hires other people to just outsource. do editing to outsource that. I've seen that a lot with my photographer friends mm. where they have people who edit also because retouching, if you're ever shooting um, people mm -hmm. and retouching, it's monotonous. Number seven, translator. This is something I wish I could do. My cousin, Devin, mm. she fell in love with a guy in Argentina and over many years of you know deciding are we gonna live in the States or are we gonna live in Argentina, she eventually moves there. She had a job translating like mm. that. And she makes, well, she also has a marketing job, but she does this as freelance. And so mm. she is there translating. It is amazing. She also did it even when she was back in the States because she got so good at it. Mm. Then she offered her skills and her, well, she knows like three languages now, wow. back here in the States. And honestly, if you don't have your degree or certification in it, you can still start mm. if you are bilingual or trilingual, yeah. like yeah. your cousin. Trilingual, way to go, Devin. At the same time, there are some free options out there. Duolingo, it's an app that you can get on. Oh, many I heard of about your this. Phones. Yeah, they make it like, it's nice and fun, some games, great user interface. Yeah. Also, if you're in an area where you commute, whether it be bus, train, plane, you can actually have Drive Time University where you can yeah. listen to an audio Very version cool. of whatever language you want to learn. There's so many opportunities out there to become multilingual. So for number eight, an editor or proofreader. If you have a journalism background and you're good with, you know, taking the time, staying focused, there's words. many people, yes, words sometimes are hard. <laughs> but there's many people that are looking for a proofreader or editor that's going to look over, their, whether it be a blog post, magazine article, people are looking for someone that can be skilled at mm -hmm. that. And number nine for our last freelance job, video editor. This is a great opportunity to showcase your skills and putting together so much content that goes out there on a lot of these video platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo. Mm. People are in demand that know how to use these very complicated programs to do all this video editing. So with that being said, it may take you some time to really understand these programs, but it can pay off for you in the long run. Definitely, and I would love that. I'd pay for it. Like, I take videos frequently, especially when we're here in Kirkland, <laughs> and I just think, oh, I just want to get that video out there, so I just send it, and then when I watch it later, I'm like, oh, man. Could have added something Could have added it. something to that, taking a little bit more time on it, but I want to, so I would definitely pay to have someone do that, but three people, maybe. So whether you're looking to become a full-time freelancer or just some part-time side work, these are some options that you can think about and getting into the freelance work. Mm -hmm. Also, getting into freelance work, it may take some time to build up your clientele, so you may have to do multiple ones. Like Emma mentioned, you could do photography and photo editing. You know, you can- And then blog about it. Exactly, you can mix and match a lot of these. But also, as you increase your skills, that makes you more in demand, and because it is competitive out there. Very. But it's a good thing to think about. As you increase your skills, not thinking about how much money you make per hour, but, getting paid for the value you bring to the hour. All right, that's a wrap. You just learned nine freelance jobs for the aspiring entrepreneur. Be sure to like this video, comment below, also subscribe, and ring the bell so you're notified when we have fresh content coming out. This is The Journey. See you next time.